Hello everybody, GamerPenny here bringing you a brand new series for YouTube. We are going to be playing through Secret World Legends. Yes, it's finally here. I'm very excited to be playing it. Uh, if you're brand new to brand new to the channel, I have said that we were going to be playing this for quite a while. I'm recording this in the head start. So it is the first day that it's available for people who have played it before or in the beta. Um, because I played the Secret World, which is the predecessor to this, um, I was able to get the head start. So we are going to go ahead and create our character. Um, I have a character in mind on who I want her to be, what I want her to look like. I've actually gone ahead and went through the character customization up to a certain point and got her how I want her to look. So right now, all we have to do is pick our faction. Uh, if you're not familiar with Secret World Legends, um, there are three factions. There's Illuminati, Templars, and Dragon. The Illuminati is based out of New York. They're basically, you know, just as it says, sex, drugs, and Rockefeller. They're sort of the corporate um, espionage, the, the secret world, and where everything's dealt under the table and stuff like that. We also have the Templars, which are, just as you would think, Knights Templars. They're very old school. They're very, to me, a little bit pompous. Um, but I kind of like that and I think we're actually end up going to end up going with the Templars because it's very, I, I don't know, like high, high class but reserved basically to me. Um, and then we have the dragons and the dragons are, just as they say, the art of chaos. They believe in doing good and doing evil because the world is nothing without chaos, basically. Um, I have in the secret world played high level dragons. I've also played high level Illuminati's. I have not done Templars, so that is why we're going to go with the Templars for our character now. I have come through and sort of created my character. All of these character customiza customization things are pretty much new. Um, same old hairstyles, there's some new ones down here at the bottom. But this is what I've created for our character. Um, I have a story for her, and she is a character coming over from the secret world, so I've built up you know, costumes and sort of backstories and played around with her, um, just kind of making her who she is. So um, when we do the clothing, this is just what she's going to start with. I do want to show you this new hat that <laughs> came with it. I love it so much. Um, I would build a character around these hats, but we're going to go with this for now because I actually have some cosmetics that hopefully come over from the secret world that we're going to put her in. Um... And this is as far as I've got. So let's go ahead and do select class. And I stopped here because when I saw select class, I said, that's new. <laughs> and so I want to see and discover it for the first time with you guys. And yep, this is what I thought it was. Okay, cool. So uh, one thing about this is I've avoided all videos and all uh, dev streams. I watched one beta impression video. So I knew that there was going to be classes. I didn't know what they were. I also know that there's going to be levels, which I don't know how that's really going to work. And beyond that, I don't know what they've changed. Um, oh, I know that they changed the combat and it's now reticle, reticule based. So um, you move your mouse and you have to aim with your mouse and everything. But let's, let's take a look at the classes and see what we want our character to be. So we've got Ravager, which looks like um, she's using fist weapons, blood magic. She'll be a healer. Um, I don't want to be a healer is the only thing. So it's not to say that that's the only thing they can be, but I don't want to be a healer. So we could be a assassin, which uses blades or elementalism. Doesn't really fit with who her character is. We could be a mercenary. Oh, she looks awesome. What, she's a healer. Oh yeah, she would be assault rifles and fist weapons. Yep. That would be a healer. Um, Punisher shotgun and hammer would be a tank. Uh, Warlock, Blood Magic and Assault Rifle, Gunslinger, which is Pistols and Shotguns, Amagus, which is Elementalism and Chaos, and then Demolish or Hammer and Blade, Chaos and Pistols, and those two are tanks. Um, so what I think that we're going to do, because I know the character and what I want her to sort of roleplay as, is we're going to go with Gunslinger. Um... Not the best outfit, which kind of sucks, but that's right. She's got a knife on her, <laughs> on her leg, which is cool. So we'll get stuff like, uh, we'll get pistols and shotguns. We'll get all in, which is a channeled series of rapid pistol shots that deal increasing damage. 
and rocket pod, a shotgun attack that deals a large amount of damage and consumes three shotgun energy. Now, do we want to do this, you guys, or do we want to do... I don't want to heal is the only thing, but she looks badass in some of these other costumes. I don't want to take either. Gunslinger or Demolisher is what I'm looking at. But I don't want to tank. I I'll just stick with my guns here. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> the pistols and the shotguns. So, alright. And it's level 2 difficulty. They're both level 2, so we would be okay either way. Um, what's the most high- Oh, highest one would be a warlock. Yeah, you, you can actually damage yourself pretty bad with blood magic, so I see that. Alright, create name. Now, the name that I think I reserved from the secret world... I forget which one I put on reserve, but I think it was pretty Ellie, and her name was Ellie Noble. Um, and we are going to be role playing just a little bit, you know, having some choices that we make or stuff. It's all going to be not that there's a lot of choice making in this game, but we are going to role play her a little bit. I have a story for her and everything, and I might I'll introduce you to it as we play along. So she's going to be pretty Ellie, Ellie Noble. Um, She's the Templars as a gunslinger. So let's see if they'll take it. Yep, perfect. So we'll see what happens next. Um, and we're as far as I know <laughs> what they've changed. So I don't know what comes next, what's happened next, or anything beyond that. So we'll, hopefully we'll see... Okay. One week ago. The B is still here. A biological agent in <laughs> that be Let's see if they changed Although anything the in the house there have been eyewitness reports of activity inside well, it looks the same the Craig book is still up there authorities are denying these reports and the military has barred anyone from approaching within 100 yuck <laughs> it's like one of my fears is bugs crawling in your mouth while you're sleeping Ugh. you will see the end of days okay Hopefully we look all right. Of a new age. Anytime I create a character, I always to get upset with how they look in cutscenes. To be a beggar, to lose everything, or to become a god. So hopefully she looks to okay. We'll see us, in a second. Or against us. That's pretty. The choice is oh, yours. Oh yeah, she looks all right. She doesn't look bad. Remember this. Okay, I I was talking over everything you said, so I I won't probably remember it. Yep, we swallowed a bee. It is really dark on my screen. I have to look at the brightness in between this episode and the next one. Because it's very dark. Darker than I remember. Four days ago. Oh yeah. We're not- we're not having a good time with our bee swallowing. <laughs> Man, clean up your room. Oh, Dreamfall! <laughs> There's a poster for Dreamfall on there. I know they've improved the character models, but it still looks kind of off to me. It does look better than the old ones, I will say. I will admit that. Oh, uh, that's new. <laughs> we didn't used to pass out at the end of that. Oh, and we didn't used to get a load screen at the end of that, so we must be getting something new coming out. There's crows here, and you know what that means. Is crows or ravens? probably ravens if you don't know what that means if you've never played secret world legends or the secret world whenever you see a raven that usually means a revenant is nearby okay well we're in our what <laughs> uh that is not something i know okay gunslinger unlock pistol and shotgun closer child Okay. Dream architect. The world trembles. 
You must learn eh. or be swept away. The dead rise. You have woken up in your bedroom, which has transported into a small cemetery. <laughs> Creepy. Proceed forward and learn more about this dream that you are unable to wake from. Haste. Okay. Haste. And I gotta get used to the new moving around with the mouse. Is there any secrets back here? Nope. <laughs> Alright. Um, one second. Let me... Can I... Whoops. Can I look at... Um... Brightness, maybe? Contrary? No, I'll just keep that where it was. Okay, let's see if that helps at all. A uh, little bit better. A little bit better, yeah. Okay, um, this is very creepy. Is there anything? Oh, okay, active dodge is still there. <laughs> Accidentally double clicked. Okay. What are we doing? Moving through the cemetery gate. Oh, hello, friend. There's a zombie over there. Can I fight him? No. Take the weapon. Our pistols. Press I to open your inventory. Okay, and we've got pistols. Primary. What's this? Uh, snap a quick shot at your target with your pistol, dealing five damage. Okay. And chain jumps up to eight meters five times, hitting up to six enemies. Okay. Fire your shot at the target in such a way that it rolls through them. Nearby enemies. Oh, we're like wanted. <laughs> okay. Um, why is it Q12E? Q. I'm gonna have to get used to that. I might. Can we rebind these? Is that possible? Because I have a Naga. I would rather not it be Q and E. I'd rather be one, two, three, four. Uh, can I do that here? Yes. One. Yep. Two. Three. Four. Apply. Okay. So we got. Where's your game? One, two, three, four, and then left and right mouse button. Um, and then really tab is that okay and then C is whatever that is X is still sprint shift one two or three are other things okay what a, move closer to the dream architect the dead are rising to the siren song destroy them okay finish off the trapped zombie hello trapped zombie you're dead Basic right. abilities are as effortless Can't as hold down the button. We have to click each and every time we want to. Let's try one. One shot. What is building up on the bottom? Lay the dead to rest. Silence the call. Okay. Oh, we gotta kill these guys now. Let's get a one. And then... Ooh. Yeah, see, we're doing... It. We are wanted because the one bullet is killing all of them. Cool. Be oh. mindful of the voices. Listen to the voices that oh. whisper Too many people talking to me all at once. Um, is this something I can interact with? No. Can I zoom in and out with the mouse wheel? No. Okay. I just have to get used to it. It's not bad. It's just different. Gotta keep reminding myself um, that it's just it's way different than what I'm used to. But that is okay. You must learn Can I interact focus with and control. The watchers will intervene only in dreams and only once. Okay. Every weapon becomes a unique focus for your abilities. Power swirls in the chamber that? of the pistol. A roulette of chaos and chamber roulette. Dual pistol chambers. Spin when you shoot, okay? Match the top colors for a damage boost. What? <laughs> okay, so match if the cup if the top colors match, we get a damage boost. So speciality spotlight. Okay. Pistols. Hello. Understanding the chamber roulette. Thank you. Use I your pistol it. abilities to spin both chambers. When both chambers align, your pistol's abilities do additional damage for a short while. The damage bonus increases based on the rarity of the match. So maybe, okay. Wow. Uh, okay. Kill the suspended Rakshasha. Oh, right here. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, well, they're low now, so... Why aren't they spinning? Oh, there we go. Okay, now they do that. Let's do two. Uh, let's do one. And they don't match now, so we can do... So, what we want to pay attention to is if they're both red. Then we'll have very much higher, um... Higher damage. The world so can I look at... Dead rise. You will be tested. Hi, can I look at, um... My abilities? Is there a way to see? Like, what does this do? Spin your pistols and ready yourself for action. Allowing you to cover four pistol energy. That's supposed to be this. Okay, yes. Um... And cleanse yourself for one de detrimental effect. This really does not trigger, it's not affected by global recharge. Spin your pistols and ready yourself for action, allowing you to recover. Okay, so it recovers energy, cleanses us, and that's it. Uh, do we have a title? Gunslinger. Ellie Noble, the gunslinger. Okay, cool. We don't have any gear. All right, let's get back to the task at hand. What do we do? Head through the next gate. Okay. Uh oh. Here are the ravens. Is there a revenant coming? I didn't hear what they said now. I talked over that. I got distracted by the birds. Oh, they're not revenants, so that's good. Okay, so now they're blue, so we'll just... So we should use one when they're blue or red. We're just getting... Oh! After dodge. <laughs> okay. I like that one. Or if we have a group, I guess if we just use... Just use one. It's gonna be hard for me... Can I move that, maybe? Like, move it up right into the middle? I'll play around with that a little bit later. I love how our click goes to all the people. Did we get an achievement? Kill ten zombies or something? Defeat the reanimated gravekeeper. What? All right, so we're damage boosted. Let's do a one. We're still damage boosted, uncommonly. Help. Okay. He dropped something. He dropped a lever handle. Get it. Oh. Oh, hello, Revenant. <laughs> He's the thing of nightmares up there. Actually, love those are my favorite. Um, Favorite bad guys. Can I kill you? No. You're just gonna stand up there and look at me? That is creepy as heck. Don't be whispering stuff at me. Revenants do not follow the call. They follow death. Yep. You cannot leave this place while it lives. Be agile. Be confident. Your life depends upon it. Active dodge. Okay. Hold shift with movement. No, I was double tapping. Can I not double tap? Yeah, we can. Why would you hold shift? Alright, let's put this here. And then I think we're about ready to take on... Yep, is he gonna come down here? He sure is. Alright, let's get... Oh, get out of there! Alright. Okay. Get him. Oh, get out! Our, our tap was down. <laughs> our active dodge. Okay. Um, I wanna do one. One. All right, easy peasy. We got him. Um, send mission report. Control R. That's weird. We're watching you. <laughs> Creepy sec. Uh, so we get some XP and we get extra because I am a patron. I, 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 when the Secret World came out, I was one of those people that bought the lifetime accounts for two hundred dollars, <laughs> and I've never not regretted buying it before in my life so it's it's great that we have it because now we don't have to pay for a subscription but we get subscription bonuses so we got a belt luminous chain three magic protection three physical protection 19 attack rating sweet pull the lever and move deeper into the dream okay that's the sun god uh, symbol on that wall so is this are we going to egypt um, right make, tell me make the right choices and all, all I can put is a pit in front of me? Well, I mean, I guess. Geronimo, <laughs> hopefully that was the right choice. Oh, we're in Egypt. Okay. 
Hello. Oh, an investigation quest? It's the Finding tutorial. It can't be that hard. Is a fool's errand. You have landed in a dark Instant and forgotten corridor. The way the forward seems away. unclear. Look around for clues to proceed. The torch, child. We the torch? Speak in metaphors because alien minds can Let's take our torch. Them. Okay. Your path will be equally Let's puzzling. light this up. Wisdom must be your torch. It's like a, a dude in a hood. Or a bell. We'll call it dude in a hood. Um... Move past the floor tiles. These? Oh. Okay, well, dude in the hood, right? Here goes nothing, Indiana Jones. Okay. So we follow the dude in the hood. Perfect. It's an easy puzzle compared to what... <laughs> um, I, I will say, though, this was super easy. Uh, the puzzles from now on, they're not going to be that easy. <laughs> um, and we will be using Google. I will be using guides. I am not going to have you guys sit here and watch me struggle. You are the chosen. You must choose for yourself. Okay. What's this? Solve the riddle. You can tell me how to solve it? Oh, I bet up here. So like three strikes and a well pump. Dude in a hood. And then, like, a deja vu signature <laughs> up there. Alright, where's the three strikes and a well pump? Alright, that's this one. Um, I'm gonna get rid of that tool tip. There we go. Dude in a hood. Where is he? Oh, here's the deja vu signature. Dude in a hood. Aha, right back here. Dude in a hood. And then, yep, they're lighting up. And then, deja vu. Okay. Did it work? Oh, the door's opening. Oh my god. <laughs> That's the worst timing. <laughs> we'll snooze that. <laughs> worst timing ever. <laughs> okay. Um, Alright, we got blood. Blood going on. Okay. Uh, is this another pit to jump in? It is. I wonder how long that's gonna snooze. If it's gonna pop up again. Windows, please. Um, move towards the dream architect. Where are we now? Is this Transylvania? I mean, there's e Egypt stuff. They are the cats. Doesn't look like Egypt. Looks like Transylvania. You are the mouse. It is best to Oh outside. no. My my least favorite quests are these ones. These sabotage ones. A clever I always get scared. <laughs> to avoid stepping on a trap. Okay. Don't step on traps. Oh, hello, Transylvania. Yep. Um, it's not my place to intervene. Okay. Did I do something wrong? Or Oh, there's traps. So, don't step on those landmines. Those will explode. Um, <laughs> warning landmines. <laughs> don't get into these lasers, because those will explode. Let's jump over this one. Looks like that's electrified. Oh, here. Just use these controls. There's a body over there. <laughs> now is this gonna come back on real quick and electrify me? Should I be sprinting? Where the cat walks, the clever mouse will walk unseen. A mouse cannot defeat oh. a cat face to face. I think this means there's a big guy walking around in here that we gotta avoid. Yeah. These are my least favorite quests because I get I just get so scared of that thing. I don't. Don't turn around. Please don't turn around. Okay. Did we do it? Alright, shut him down. Oh, can we electrify it? Zap! Alright, sweet. Oh, can I run on this? Investigate the war machine's chassis. Am I gonna get electrified? No. Okay. Alright, let's investigate you real quick. Uh, 3691. I bet there's a code. I have to put in somewhere. Like up here? No. Oh. Okay. Uh, three, what was it? Three, six, nine, one? Three, six, nine, one? Perfect. We are genius. Oh, hey, hey, hey girl. <laughs> what you doing in here? Okay. All right, now we can turn that in. We're checking your progress. We're waiting. Alright, we're gonna Talisman get something else from here. 
Strengthen huh. you and focus you. Level two. So that's the levels. Nothing. I wonder what it does. You, but the choice will set you free one way or another. Nothing can save you. That's health, magical protection, physical protection. Okay. Got our new equipment done. Let's look J for the journal. Woken up within a dream, but is not your own. You are being led through several locations you have never seen before. Meet up with other secret worlders and investigate T Times Square. Are you serious? Times Square is the raid. Hurry. We have no time to spare. Should we console the Council of Venice it. first? Now is not the time for argument. What was that? Lost cat. Go. Go. Oh, hey, Cthulhu. <laughs> What's up, boy? <laughs> uh, yeah. So here is the last raid of the game <laughs> in New York. Don't hold anything back. Where are the people in pods? Did he just? Sorry, dude. Um, I mean, are we are we seriously gonna fight this guy? There's no way. All right. Oh god, get out of that. So the only thing is, the only thing with this that I'm finding this new combat system is you can't watch your feet that well if you've got something that you're aiming up towards. You know? Oh. Nope. We died. <laughs> I think that's scripted, though. There's no way that's not scripted. Be mindful oh. of the voices, for they speak the truth. They corrupt or they speak the truth. Make up your mind. I don't know who you are talking to me. Oh, hello. Yep, that was a nightmare, so that happened. Might be a little bit too bright now. <laughs> She's like pale as ghost. Uh, I'll turn the brightness back down. But when it gets dark, it, I mean, it is dark. I mean, right now it looks fine. It's just when the light is on her. Let's see. Doing some magic. I guess it looks fine. We'll leave it. We'll leave it as it is, as it is and we'll see what it looks like out in the game. They really added, like, skin texture to them that I'm not a huge fan of, actually, but I guess. Hello. Good afternoon. Are you... From the look of things, <laughs> I guess that question is moot. B problem? Point. There's a lot of that going around. <laughs> B problem. <laughs> I represent an organization headquartered in London, a very large organization with branches across the globe and connections in every government. Although we see ourselves as a... Um, a silent partner. Okay. We pull strings, big strings. Prime ministers, presidents, kings. Dark days are coming. The world is in turmoil and we're recruiting. Soldiers, agents, adventurers, crusaders. And we offer good terms, a fresh start, a network unlike any other, unlimited resources, a fantastic medical plan, and a way to harness and use your incredible powers. Okay. It may be a big transition, but look at it this way. This is a unique opportunity. You have been chosen. You have been granted powers beyond what most can imagine. So you can either be an outcast in a world that will never understand or accept what you've become, or you can join others like you. Take a stand against a rising darkness and embark on a journey into the unknown, into the hidden places, into the secret world. The choice, as we're so fond of saying, is entirely yours. But know this. Your emerging powers will attract plenty of attention. And not everyone is as, um, as accommodating as we are. On your own, you'll be easy prey. You might not last a week. This will get you where you need to go. There are instructions inside. Use it or don't use it. It's your prerogative. You won't see me again. Ah, bye, I friend. you'll make the right decision. By the way, our organization is called the Templars. You may have heard of us. We've been around a while. Okay. Good day. Bye. <laughs> we do look cool. I do like the new character models. It they look they look better. Just all the the texture on the skin is getting me a little bit. Uh, what was that? So this is London. Look at the guy in the bottom right cracks me up with his bird. It's like looking up at the looking up at us and pointing at us. 
Extraordinary weapons and talismans have unique effects which can alter your playstyle. Okay, we're gonna have to get used to the new systems for sure. It's way different. We haven't, we didn't get our shotgun yet. Do we have our pistol still, even though we got it in the dream? I guess we'll find out. <laughs> I hope we still have it. Hello. Sorry, can't let you through without authorization. Okay, I have this Templar well, I don't card. know what that's supposed to be, but it's not. All right, lads, D.I. Shelley, they're with me. <sighs> Do us both a favor and don't go flashing that letter around out here. The boys on the cordons haven't been briefed. As far as they're concerned, this is all just heightened awareness after the terrorist attack in Tokyo. But I don't deal with the bureaucracy. I deal with the truth about the secret London, about the Templars. I'd say, I hope you know what you're getting yourself into. But you have no idea. Even I only get as involved as I have to, for the sake of us little people. You've seen it on the news. The Tokyo incident. That's what happens when your new crowd lets things get out it's of hand. getting leggy. I don't... Not here. Not on my watch. That's the deal. That's always been the deal. You'll be safe inside, Eldwick. Go see one of the prophets prophesying up the road by the tube station. They'll fill you in on the kind of crazy you've got ahead of you. Best be prepared. Okay. My sincerest condolences. That's a cool shot. <laughs> Alright, so I will say though, this is the head start. Um, there's a lot of people, obviously, right here. These are all players getting started. So the game is probably not going to run super great. Is that a player up there? It is. He's sitting on the car. Um, but it, it'll get better as we go. Guillermo Vega. And all the NPCs have have levels now. Um, I always come here to take this pamphlet. I don't know if we ever need it for anything, uh, but I, I always grab it. Oh, you get a lore from it. So, uh, the morning light. What makes us human? Spirituality. Humans have the unique ability to change from within, to be better, to be happier, to reach the next level of existence. What is the next level of existence? Humanity is chained to old prejudices, old fears, old institutions, the next level of existence is a revolution of how to be. How to be happy, how to be beautiful, how to bask in the morning light. What is the morning light? It's the answer. It's the first light of a new dawn. It shows us how to change the world and reach for the sun. How bright is your future? It's up to you. Philip Marcard and millions like him have learned how to release their inner potential. New dawn is coming. Embrace the light today. Okay. We're not going to read... Whoops, I forgot that we're mouse controlled sorry guys we're not going to read all that lore um that we find and actually i hope that it's still in the game it looks like it is we're gonna pick up a piece of candy so these things are lore um and i whenever we see one we're gonna pick it up because it it gives us that l l to view the lore or legends i guess global groups morning light so we've got two pieces and th it basically gives us this stuff here. It gives us different lore that you can... What's that? That you can read and get some story for with the game. We won't be reading all of it. Secret Memorial. <gasps> oh, it's all the the Secret World. Um... Oh, it's all the Secret World um, websites and stuff from the original game. Free Radio Free Guy I used all the time. Um, some of these I've not heard of. This one sounds really cool. <laughs> League of Monster Slayers. Vino Veritas. TSWDB I used all the time too. Cool. Oh, it's all the fan sites. That's awesome that they put that in there. Um, now if there... I think there's one more lore piece. As far as I know. Do we still have Sprint, right? Yes. Okay. And I think it's up on here. Yep. There it is. And I'm gonna I'm gonna call it lore. Uh, two things I'm gonna do. I'm gonna call this game the Secret World, and I'm gonna call those pieces of candy. I'm gonna call them lore, not legends. So <laughs> I apologize. Now, some of these people, like these two people sitting here, you can actually come up and talk to them, and you can have full-on conversations with them. 
I'm not going to be doing that on camera because we'll be all we'll be all day just talking to these two people. They've got so much story that goes along with them. Uh, we might come back and do that later, but oh, find the profit square outside the station. I didn't want to do that yet because I want to go back out the way we were because I think there's more pieces of candy. <laughs> I think there's more candy on here. Um, I think there's candy in here in Eldwick. Isn't there candy usually right there? Is it loading? That other person came over here and grabbed something. Oh, learn legend. <laughs> it just didn't show up. I knew it. Okay. And then uh, I think there's more candy in this store. And then we'll come up here and talk to that prophet. And that will probably be where we end the episode. So let's get this candy. Piece of candy. And then let's go talk to the prophet here. And we'll get a cutscene. So late to start recycling. <laughs> <laughs> to go to raves to save the gorillas. To cash out those Anansi sheds. There's a storm coming. Mundo storm. Paint your glass houses shut. <laughs> you don't have to take his word for it. This is a warning from the sun. It says it's old and tired and scared of death. It says you've lived as young gods for too long. Spoiled children who only need to wish for something and it'll come true. Well, those days are gone now and won't be here again. <laughs> Sorry. I'll show you how it all goes you look down at us? through the medium of unreliable narration. A vision of the future. This could be your lucky day. <sighs> Tomorrow and all the ones after, not so much. It's a hot, wet day. You ever notice how the apocalypse always comes on a wet uh -oh. day? There's the smell of warm air and stale piss. The atmosphere is electric. I mean, actually electric. Sparking off the tracks. Lifting and snapping your hair. A voice over the speakers that you don't hear. You itch. My dog Look in the background. Sorry about sounds. that. Uh oh, we passed out. <laughs> okay. So, are we going to the tutorial now? I wonder if they changed this tutorial. Do we still get a tutorial? We just kind of had one, right? It's all shut down. Kaiden Cho, everything. From the park to, to Arachi Tower. SDF quarantine. Good news for Tokyo, bad news for us. I thought the dragon thrived on chaos. Someone once told me the Illuminati had all the answers. Okay. They're saying a bomb. It's never just a bomb. Something worse. Something that brought the filth with it. So we fight. That's what us Templars do. I enjoy a good fight. It's just these trousers are <laughs> bloody velvet. Sarah! Thank Gaia! Yeah, okay, so we're Sarah now. Um, Alright. Well, guys, I actually think we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. And then next episode we'll do this whole... Um, it doesn't look like you can skip it either. So we'll do this whole thing in here in the very next episode. So, um, I can't even zoom in or do nothing. I've got to figure out the controls. i got to figure out everything about this game again. <laughs> got to relearn all of it. So guys, I want to thank you so much for um, tuning in with me in this series. I hope you're excited to watch it. I'm really excited to play it. These first couple of episodes are going to be tutorial and me learning the game. After that, we're going to get really, really invested into the story. The Secret World Legends and The Secret World have some of the best story writing um, I've ever come across in an MMO. And it's, there's a reason that The Secret World, I will always claim, is one of my favorites. will always claim has the best story of any MMO. And we're going to explore that. And we're, we're going to do that together on the channel. So I'm not going to create another character and play ahead. Um... We are going to be doing everything together because anything that has changed, I wanted to experience it with the first, for the first time with you guys. So, um, these videos are going to come out every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 3 p.m. 
So it will be three times a week. They're going to be about 40 minutes long, maybe longer depending on if we're in a cutscene or in a story or in a dungeon or something. But we'll try to keep them about 30 or about 40 minutes long and three times a week. So hopefully you guys will join me for this. Um, it, this game is free to play also. So if you are looking for a game to play and you want to check it out, make sure you do check it out. Again, it's launching officially on the 26th. This is the head start when I'm recording these, um, but it will be out by the time this video goes up on the channel. So guys, thank you so much for being interested in it, for showing any support. If you do want to see more of Secret World Legends, make sure to leave a like or subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. All right, bye-bye everyone.